welcome back to the channel today I am talking about well the Ninja 650 and the Ninja 650 is one of those bikes that's very versatile it's she looks very sporty I mean first of all the Ninja 650 is a sport touring bike and it's a ton of fun to take this bike out on the streets um, basically you can go in back lanes you can do a lot of different things with it I still wouldn't recommend going off-road with it but it's a bike that does many, many different things. And I get a lot of questions about this. Well, is the bike really that great? My answer is always yes. It's a wonderful bike, it really is. And the number one question that keeps coming up on this channel is consistent, but it is the number one question and that is, is the Ninja 650 really as good as people say it is? Would you recommend it to, uh, you know, to a new rider? Would you recommend it to an experienced rider? You know, I am not here to recommend stuff for you guys because frankly, what do I know? I am a new rider by all standards. I mean, I've been riding, what, three years and that's about it. But when it comes to the 650, it's a bike that really does do a heck of a job at pretty much anything and everything you ask it to do. So it's not complicated. It's simple. It's straight to the point. And better yet, she is absolutely beautiful. It's just one of those bikes that has a styling to it and you know it, it's not it's nothing bad it's nothing overdone it's no overkill on a bike it's straightforward it's simple it just looks beautiful doesn't it now riding the bike is a different story it has a really really good feel and it's not I don't know if necessarily you would say it's uh, it's the most comfortable bike you've ever ridden because well, I haven't ridden too many bikes to tell you it's the most comfortable bike, but it is very, very comfortable for me. And so when you guys ask me would I recommend it, I say every single day of the week, I really would. I highly recommend the Ninja 650. It has pretty much done everything I've wanted to do. So how is it riding this bike? How is it to just get on her and ride her? All right, so let's take this bike for a ride and let me let me give you guys a little bit of an explanation what I'm talking about when I talk about this bike specifically. So how is it riding this bike? Riding this bike is very, very simple. Now, with that said, if you are a new rider, you might want to take it easy right off the bat because, well, she can, uh, she, she does have a little bit of power and that little bit of power can definitely give you uh, a lot of headaches if you don't know what you're doing. Why do I uh, suggest and why do I recommend this bike? First and foremost, because she's just a ton of fun. And if you need a pick up and go, you have it. The brakes on this bike are actually very, very good. I, um, I can't complain when it comes to the actual brakes. And the, the stance, the, how you stay on this bike, how you, uh, you know, your positioning, it's just simple, it's straightforward, it's nice, it doesn't hurt your back, it doesn't hurt your body. You can ride the Ninja 650 for quite a while before you need to take a break. And I think that is something that most of you guys may not necessarily think about. But if you do, and if you are wondering, yes, I've ridden this bike for quite a while, you know, two, three hours, no problem, four hours, no problem. Yes, of course, it's a good idea to always take a break. But she's nimble, she's fun, and she doesn't feel heavy. So you can throw this bike around and she's not going to intimidate you. And this is, I know that majority of the people talking to me and, and, and leaving the comments are new riders. And that's kind of something that I want to point out to you guys. If you are thinking about getting your, the 650 as your first bike, you know what? You just have to be careful a little bit in the power band because the power band does have a, some decent uh, torque, but whew, it's controllable as long as you know what you're doing and if you have a little bit of experience behind uh, behind the bars you'll be fine you just have to take it easy and kind of gradually allow yourself to have a momentum when it comes to the, the motorcycle other than that it's the suspension is nice i like the suspension on this bike it's smooth it's nothing crazy it doesn't feel overly uh, bumpy it absorbs a great deal of bad roads and trust me i live in vancouver i do have quite a few bad roads here uh, so it does it does give you a nice uh, nice cushion if you will for your tushy when you're out there riding so it is a definitely a very versatile bike in terms of how you feel on the bike as for going a little bit more off-road let's go over here for now um, if you're going off the beaten path and you're not always on highways you're not always on city streets 
you know what the bike is very fun to deal with it's uh, again because your stance you can see everything you're not leaning over you're not hunched over uh, so the bike can handle so many situations so many of the different uh, types of roads and I've gone over um, a lot of different thing, places with this bike the only thing I don't do is I don't do uh, off-roading now with the bigger tires in the back uh, a smaller tire in the front obviously it does actually give you a very very good control over your bike you can take this bike in pretty much anywhere you want except maybe off-road like I said but other than that this bike is uh, very very durable very flexible too it's uh, I don't I don't know many places where I've wanted to go actually I don't know any places that I would have wanted to go that I haven't been able to take this bike and I think that's that says a lot now mind you I am an urban explorer I like to go around places like these I like to explore little things like this and see what's around here and so forth and so on and because of that I need a bike that's uh, very good on the road obviously so on the road most bikes are gonna be great but at the same time, I want this bike to be able to turn around very quickly. I'm, I, sometimes I get stuck in little, you know, alcoves and little areas where turning around is not much of an option. And the turning radius on this bike is very, very small. You don't need a, a massive, massive area to turn around. So obviously anybody could do this roundabout. I mean, you look at the, that space over there, that's plenty of, it's, it's a pretty tight space, but it is possible to turn the bike around. Like I said, I've done this before, lots of times. Mind you, I haven't been on the bike for like uh, three weeks and we did it. So again, it is very possible to turn this bike around. It's not like a, a big cruiser where it's, you know, it takes a lot more space to turn it around. But it's very easy to, it's nimble. It, it, you can really play with it. And the best way to show its nimbleness is usually, I like to do it like on a dotted lines. Look at that. <laughs> I mess around with that a lot because, well, I like to go between the, between the lines. But the bike is very, very simple to ride. It's not complicated. And like anything else in this world, we don't want complications. We want simplicity. We want to be out on the bikes for the fun of it, to relax, to take it easy, to let loose. And that's why I love this bike. It really, really gives me that ability to just let loose, have fun and not worry. It's a very nimble bike. And again, like I said, with regards to bad roads, well, when you have very bumpy, annoying roads, it's always nice to have a bike that can really absorb all that uh, impact and, uh, and that <laughs> so <laughs> I love it because I'm making hand gestures and people are seeing that and then of course they wave or they say something but yeah it's nice to have a bike that can do what you need it to do when you need it to do it right now by the way for the record um, see the cars behind me are kind of stuck there and so if you're gonna play around with the bike I like to do it here like I like to mess around between these uh, division lines <laughs> but yeah it's possible to do it and that's because of the, the simplicity of the bike and because it doesn't feel heavy right so if I just push down for the counter steering right if I just push down a little bit you see she just goes and I don't need to push down hard it's a little soft touch and the bike does exactly what she was designed to do and just goes right which also makes this bike because it's maneuverable it's very flexible it's it's an all-around great bike for different uh, scenarios it's easy to get out of trouble with this bike if you find yourself in any type of uh, or any sort of trouble so absolutely i i recommend it i really do i get a lot of questions boys and girls the amount of questions i get about the ninja 650 is just mind-blowing to me i almost every day i get at least one question of you know just coming in about you know what do i think about it and how you know is it a bike that you can really use anywhere you want and my answer is yes you can use anywhere you want as long as it's not off-roading it is still a sport touring bike i am i think off-roading is is a matter of perspective because what kind of off-roading you're talking about is also another thing if you're gonna you're talking about dirt roads um i wouldn't recommend it i well i wouldn't do it myself but if you're talking about just going uh, you know in a general sense let's say a uh, little bit of dirt a little bit of mud you can deal with it now there is definitely plenty of power people ask me uh, is there is there enough power the answer is yes in fact i'll be honest with you guys there's more power than what you are uh, gonna need and the reason i say that is because if you're the kind of person who's gonna follow the law which you are because you're a good rider you're not out here to make uh, you know give bad bad name to uh, riders 
if you're the kind of person who's really out here to do uh, to do all the right things look if you're sticking within the speed limit or just over the speed limit uh, almost any bike is gonna be good for you however um, the 650 has plenty of power I've taken this bike in, uh, in some crazy places with some crazy speeds and it, there's just no issue now is it gonna outperform a zx6r or something no of course not is it gonna outperform a 1000 rr of course not it's not it's a ninja 650 it is what it is so you have to ex you know accept the the fact that it's a motorcycle that is a ninja 650 it is not a you know crazy bike that's designed for the isle of man nine out of ten times you're going to be buying it because you want to have a nice little cruiser but at the same time it's still sporty it still looks sexy and she has that gorgeous gorgeous design and that gorgeous look so oh this turn i love it so there we go now uh the next part of the question that i get asked a lot about this bike is uh, and it's kind of actually getting annoying because I feel like I answer this question a lot and okay you were I'm pretty sure he was there first but whatever uh, is definitely how does you know does she have enough torque yes she has enough torque you know I don't have an issue going um, even some of the steepest hills and I've gone through some crazy steep hills I have absolutely no issue uh, going up steep hills and I mean in fact she's just flying up but it's ultimately a motorcycle motorcycles typically unless you're riding a Ninja 300 you're not gonna have a problem okay honestly I did not plan this I know I own a Tesla but and I typically do that whole yay Tesla I'm not doing it this time though yay Tesla <laughs> although that Tesla could kick my butt ten times over so on my other channel, I do have a Tesla channel, Summon Tesla, for those of you guys who uh, want to check it out. Shameless plug! It, um, I do own a Tesla, and I actually did a review on one of those ones, uh, the Model X. It's a ton of fun to, uh, to, to mess around with that bike, uh, the bike, that car. So this hill, I don't know, I'm going to pull out a little bit so I can give you guys an idea, but this hill is massive, like it's got a very nice uh, incline. Whoa, baby! Now on this bike, obviously, you don't want to push it too hard on the first gear going uphill because you're going to flip the bike. But um, yeah, she has no problem going up these hills. She really doesn't. And that's, I, I get that a lot, you know. Uh, I, I remember this one uh, specific comment saying, I live in an area where we have some crazy, crazy um, uh, inclines. Look, you can't even see where I came from. So. Yes, I, I understand what you're saying and trust me, I have a lot of crazy inclines. I've done a lot of crazy inclines with this bike. It's never been an issue. So ultimately, as you guys can see, the bike is, well, awesome. It's awesome in every single way. And when you guys ask me about, you know, sh would I recommend it, should you buy one? You know what, I'm not gonna say anything with regards to what you should or should not do, but I will say, I am not sorry I have this bike. I very much love this bike. I think it has done more for me than I actually initially expected it to. And I think that's the big big uh, point here. Has the bike done everything that I've wanted the bike to do or everything that I've wanted to uh, experience throughout the time that I had this bike? And so far, I cannot complain about this bike. It's It runs smooth, it does what it's supposed to do, and it's just a fun bike so with that said i'm gonna say thank you very much for watching um please leave a comment tell me your thoughts tell me your opinions and i always look forward to hearing from you guys if you haven't subscribed i'm coming up on that uh 2500 uh, subscriber list which is actually pretty good i kind of i love you know i love uh, the subscribers so if you haven't subscribed feel free to subscribe push that little notification bell it really helps out and uh with that said till the next video See ya, ride safe.